Hey, Dustin Tibbetts here, financial advisor with Jazz Wealth Managers. How's it going today? My favorite time of day when I get to make these videos. I hope you're doing well. We're financial advisors here at Jazz Wealth. We manage our own uh, portfolios. You can see them right on our website. You can see the performance as well. And we also want to help customers with every aspect of their financial lives. So we do this in ways like we have a weekly class for customers where we'll cover all kinds of different things from trading to personal finance to investments or updating on our portfolios. Anything I can do. Because the wealthy, you ever hear the stories of like how the wealthy have a personal financial manager? They pay their bills, they do all this stuff. That's what I envision, right? Doing that for everybody. How can we get that same sort of help there? And uh, look, some of it's on you, right? You got to take the initiative as well. I ask you a question here. How many of you automate your 401k contributions? Yeah, yeah. 403B, 457, whatever it is. You've set it up to where when you get paid, some money comes out of your paycheck, it goes right into your 401k, and you don't even notice it, right? The time just passes, you get the statement, you go, whoa, look at all that money I got there. That's pretty cool, right? Because it's automated. What's the likelihood that you would turn that off, right? Once you set it in motion and you start putting 5% of your paycheck away or whatever, most people are lazy, right? They're like, I don't, I'm not gonna go turn it off. I'll figure out something else, right? Not a big deal. Now, a lot of people will automate their bills as well. That's up to you, right? Now, automating your bills, there's two schools of thought there. Some people think you should look at your bills, you should see what's going on. Other people think, yeah, make your life simple and go ahead and just automate it. I'll leave that up to you. But how many of you, be honest, leave me a comment below. Let me know, I wanna know your answer here. How many of you would not have retirement savings if it weren't for the automated 401k, pluck it out of your check and put it right into the 401k? I wouldn't, right? I mean, I'm more into this than most people and I can tell you I wouldn't, right? Because you just sort of do it. It's automated there and it's great. You know, you can also do that to your Roth IRA, your traditional IRA. Whether you're here with us at Jazz Wealth and you have your account with us or somewhere else, you can have your payroll department take a little bit out and put it in a Roth IRA or wherever you want it to go. So uh, you can do that. Now, here's the question of the day. Could you automate an emergency savings? You know how they say, well, when I get paid a little bit, I take a little bit of money out, uh, I pay some bills, I tithe maybe, uh, you know, I put, put money towards things I'm passionate about, and I, of course I put some money away for emergency savings, but somehow the emergency savings never seems to make its way to the savings account. Well, what if you could do that from your paycheck there, right? And instead of like having to transfer money or remember to do it and before you spend it and all that stuff, what if you could have it taken out of your paycheck? So the Electronic Payments Association did a survey of over 2,000 workers and they found that 82% of them use direct deposit for retirement investments. Awesome, right? That's perfect. That's, that's exactly what we're talking about. But when you look at those same people, they found that less than one quarter of them split their money into something else. Right? So most people are like direct deposit retirement, direct deposit retirement. Less than one quarter thought, hey, could I put the money somewhere else? Could I have it go into a savings account? Could I have it go into a different type of an account? Huh, I wonder if they'd allow that. That's not a lot of people in there, right? What I want you to do is go to HR and say, hey, listen, um, I would like to amend my uh, direct deposit. I want to add something there. You've got a savings account. If you have a savings account at a bank or maybe you're using the new Jazz Cash savings that we have here, I want you to that's now emergency savings, right? If you have the ability to name your account, name it, emergency savings, right? And so when you go to your HR and you get your payroll form and you say, okay, I wanna put some percentage away or some amount away, and I want it to go towards the emergency savings, now it's psychological, it's in your head that you're already starting to save. And again, what's the likelihood that you actually turn that sucker off? It would take a little bit of effort. You probably would just change your mind and not really do that there. Uh, so I want you to do that. You might even be able to do it online, right? You might, uh, if you have like ADP or something, you could just go online and put the routing number and stuff of the savings account that you want to do. And then you have to decide, am I going to do a dollar amount or am I going to do some percentage of my paycheck? And this is where I get all the questions from customers. So I'm going to help you out here with this one. If you find that you are a salary employer, uh, salary employee, right? And you get paid a fixed amount, then you want to probably just use the dollar amount. You know how much you're getting paid, you know how much every paycheck is. You might be able to quickly go, let's take $50 out and let's go ahead and put that into the emergency savings direct deposit. If you're an hourly worker uh, or your income varies because of commissions and stuff, uh, that's a O. <laughs> then you might consider a percentage, right? It's just easier to do it that way. You're not really sure how much you're gonna be able to put away if you get 
sales commissions or bonuses and things like that. So you want to do that. Now, if you set this up, it's going to take one to two pay cycles. I usually find that it takes two pay cycles for them to get it set up. But once that's in motion, it's in motion. It, just like your 401k, when you look back five years from now, you're going to be like, holy cow, I, that's a lot of money. I have my 401k, my emergency savings, and I didn't even think about it. I just filled out a form online and I got it done. So really, really simple way to get that jump start or to give your emergency savings that extra boost. And I don't believe there's any rules on this in terms of how little you can have taken out of your paycheck. I know with like an ADP or big processor like that, you could just say 10 bucks, right? 1%. 2% have it go in the emergency savings. So uh, you will very likely never ever change that again if you set it up. You'll be more motivated to increase the amount and drive your HR people crazy because you'll you see how quick it all adds up. So more of a motivational tip here for you today, but I wanna know how many of you would not have the retirement savings that you do if it weren't for direct deposit. I'm asking you this because psychologically I want you to type it out and go, yes, I would not have, ha or no, I wouldn't have what uh, I currently have my 401k and while you type that out go well how cool would it be if my emergency savings was like one half of that or one quarter of that and I didn't have to stress about it and watch all these videos from people trying to get me to do this set it up make it automatic of course if I can help you in any way or I hope you check us out at Jazz Wealth you know where to find us but uh, enjoy right We'll also be back later today. We do a show called The Closing Beat every day at 5 o'clock. It is a stock market update show where we go over the investments and focus on that for a little bit. Talk about what the markets did and we're happy to help. So if I helped you in some way, maybe you'll hit the subscribe button. I'm supposed to ask you that every time and I've been really good about that. <laughs> Takes a lot of work to put these shows together and I appreciate you guys supporting us out there. Uh, have a great rest of your day. Why should you choose Jazz Wealth as your retirement or long-term investing service? Our portfolios are managed by us, not some faceless mutual fund manager. Our private classes will teach you everything about investing and getting your dough straight. Best of all, our fiduciary standard means your best interest comes before ours.